All right, listen, I am excited to be here. I don't meet many really orthodox, really true to their faith Catholics. Now, Catholicism is very obviously the largest church in the world for Christians, right? I mean, it's like how many? 1.8 billion, 2 billion? Something like that. But you know, a lot of Catholics, for the most part, they're like, yeah, I go once in a while. But I gotta tell you something. This is exciting, okay? Now I want everybody to see this. This lovely couple here, now your name? Elizabeth. Bob. Bob. They're from Illinois and Ohio? No, Park City, Utah. Park City? Payson, Utah. Oh, Payson, okay. You're from uh, Washington, Washington. D.C. Columbus, Ohio. Columbus. Okay, and your name is? Adam. Arena. Okay, now listen guys, listen, I want to talk to you about something. They met on what site? Catholic, Catholic Match. Match. Catholic, Catholic, Match. Catholic Match. Catholic, Catholic Match. Match. Okay, now I want to ask you, being an Orthodox, being a believer of, of, of that, it's the same thing, your commitment to that faith, what does that mean when you're a couple? When we're married or before, before we get married. married? That we, we uh, go according to the precepts of the Catholic Church, and one of those is that we do not have premarital sex. Okay, okay, great. And yeah. same with you? Yeah, because as, as Catholic Christians, we affirm the deep significance of the body and the human person, and that sexuality is, is the height of expression of marital love between right. a man and a woman. Do you That's see that we, as a big issue in today's age, that people are giving it away? and just you know they're losing that special gift that god gave us and and do you and you really really believe that you want to save yourself yes. for your yeah we live in a sex saturated culture so yeah. this is uh the, the church shows us the beauty that sex is actually a very beautiful and sacred gift that we have right. been given but it has to be in its proper form which is right. marriage which is welcoming to children and also shows the unity between the spouses wow yeah see that guys so see? now isn't that beautiful to see that do you want to say something yes <laughs> i want to say that just because someone lives in sin we don't consider them that they are not Catholic. Okay. They are just living in sin, but they are they are they still members of the, the church. church. They can always, always return, return right. to the church and yeah. repent. Yeah. Okay, great. It's kind of like Christ yeah. is always calling each of us. Every morning is a new day and to conversion. And so no matter where we are, we're all sinners, and we all you know will make stumble stumble along the way. Yeah. But the door to yeah. salvation is always open when we we come you back know, to we, Him. There so. was always that. There's <clears throat> in the risen move in the movie Risen. Jesus asked Peter. Will you walk with me a while? And he turns to me and says, Peter, do you love me? And Peter says, yes. And he walks on a little further. Peter, do you love me? Yeah. Yes, I do. Feed my Feed sheep. My sheep yeah. Walk a little further. Peter, do you love me? He says, of course, Lord. You know that I love you. Peter sinned three times when he denied him. Peter was forgiven three times by Christ. Yeah, praise God. You're right. Excellent. So what you see here, I just want to let you see, because there's a lot of people out there. You know, we don't want people to think that you know just because you're a believer in Christ um, that that's all good and you can do whatever you want there are what guidelines there's guidelines consequences there's a whole new generation of Catholics rising up mostly in large part to John Paul II who called us to heroic sanctity and discipleship and Right. and marriage everything so look into it google search it john paul <laughs> theology of the body it's good stuff <laughs> yeah. hey guys thanks